I make small talk amongst the clanging of metal hoping that the day goes quick I'm not sure it will He says things I'd rather not respond to. Each clang, each opinion, gives me a familiar chill. I pre-treat each proclamation with anxiety, each sentiment with uncertainty, waiting for the moment that he picks his colour out of the rainbow and shows it to me without asking. He tells me, how Big Macs used to be bigger How Mars bars used to be cheaper How there's nothing good on TV How the weather is all over the place How there are snowflakes everywhere How he can't stand some of those gays on TV I load parts of cars into steel baskets Ready to be treated for painting For transformation over and over, grubby hands press grubby buttons, lowering metal into tanks. I try to be patient. I try not to think about putting my hand in. I wonder if I qualify. Wonder if he only hates half of me. I'm not good at fractions and I don't like the odds. Anything uneven throws me off Like we are loading the parts directly onto my chest Like the extractor fan is over my mouth Like it is taking everything out He waits for my response I stand by Stand behind his knowledge of my female partner Let him rip this part of me into pieces Because sometimes I want to too The part of me That likes the people I'm not supposed to the part that makes me question myself every day Pretending to be straight or pretending to be gay Like I have to prove who I am The part of me that makes me feel like I'm not a real man The part of me that makes people sick My desire or my mind, I don't know which causes which I can't pretend I don't feel like this But I can pretend in this moment That it doesn't exist That I don't exist heat from the tank. The pulsating metal is uncomfortable enough that my discomfort seems usual. To remove the parts we wear oven gloves, which have been given a masculine design, so we feel better about putting them on. He tells me they are right up to 200 degrees. I tell him, so are my mums. He justifies his choice to wear them And I see his colours They are not quite as blue as I expect Sensing his voice, his own anxieties None of us are quite as blue as we're supposed to be Our collars limp from too many washes We hang them out to dry And make small talk <laughs>